Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create a page template in SharePoint Online and set it as a default page uh, on your site. Uh, let me first uh, clarify what I mean by that. So let's just say you have a SharePoint site and maybe you intend to use the site as a wiki. So you want users to create uh, pages in a, in a consistent manner. And um, what you want to do is uh, obviously, uh, you know, create a page template for them that they can uh, fill out. Uh, that's uh, thing number one. And second thing, you want to make sure that they use this page uh, template and reuse it, uh, uh, or, you know, in a consistent uh, manner. Uh, so let me uh, carry you through both of the steps. So first step, we need to create a page template. Uh, let me show you how to do that. I actually recorded a separate video. Uh, you can find it on my uh, YouTube channel where I explain three different ways on how to create a page uh, template. Um, and uh, what I'm going to show you right now is a kind of the third option from that video. Uh, we need to do that first. So uh, let me, let's go ahead and first create a page template. And then uh, step number two would be uh, setting up that template as a default uh, page template on your SharePoint site. All right, so again, step number one, we're just creating a page template. So we're starting with, we have some built-in templates, by the way, we'll, we'll start from scratch. Here we go. So I'll just um, create a page. This is not a template, by the way. Uh, this is something that we will use to create a page template from. So, um, you know, let's just say, for example, uh, we want uh, the page template to be uh, three columns in layout, all right, and then you know, the, the, it will consist of this text area. So essentially I want a consistent format and maybe uh, some image. All right, here we go. Let's just use this. Again, I'm just making stuff up. Uh, you can obviously you can obviously change it uh, uh, according to your use case. And, you know, this will be a quick links area. Here we go. Perfect. Let's just call it quick links. Uh, let's just add a link uh, to something. So, okay, here we go. Perfect. All right. And I'll publish it. Now, uh, I did not create a page template just yet. Uh, this is, uh, we, we are going to create a page template uh, in a second. Uh, all right. Uh, this is just a page that the template will be created from. And by the way, here we go. Uh, when I hit publish button, uh, I do have an option to save this as a page template. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. So here we go. And it tells me over here the page has been saved as a template on, on the site. Actually, let's do that. It will save it. Yeah, we have to give it a name. Good catch. Perfect. So let's give it a name. Uh, obviously, we'll call it wiki uh, page template. Here we go. Perfect. All right, and we'll save it. Great. So now we saved it. Let me show you um, uh, what happened behind the scenes when we saved that template. So when we click the gear icon, site contents, uh, let's go behind the scenes. Let's go to site pages library. I'll show you what happened. So um, here is our home page, right? This is kind of the default page you get when you create a site um, that was there before. This is the page I created. And then when I saved the template, it actually went into this templates folder. This uh, yellow folder was created when I, uh, when I uh, saved this page as a template. So here it is, here's the template. How do we take advantage of this template now? So uh, our users need to do this. Um, so um, they need to click the gear icon, add a page, add a page. And look at this. They have the default options, right, provided by Microsoft. Here is our, uh, here is our uh, you know, uh, template that we created. Uh, and obviously, if I chose this, then I will have this three-column layout, uh, everything you saw uh, me do previously. Uh, but here is a catch. Uh, if I just hit, if the users just go ahead and they hit the create a page button, what will happen is by default, it will utilize the built-in template. You see it's, uh, uh, it's chosen by default. So if I do this, you see it's the out of the box template is selected um, you know, you know, by default. Uh, so if the users are not careful, uh, you know, most likely this will happen. Uh, I want them to, when they hit create a page button, I want them to automatically uh, you know, choose the template that I have created for them. How do we make it happen? Let me show you. So what uh, we need to do is click add a page. All right, add a page again. We're creating a new page. Actually, yeah, let's uh, 
uh, we, yeah, I think I did not publish this page. Uh, let's just uh, uh, let's just get out of here. Perfect. So we are going to create a new page, and we want this to be a default, right? Not this one. You see, it's uh, highlighted. It has this uh, light, uh, you know, border around it, meaning it's a default. We want this one to be a default. Here we go. You click three dots and just click set as a default selection. Nice and easy. And it gives you a warning. It just tells you that uh, whatever we're doing now will apply to everyone, uh, all the users on the site. Yes, that's what we want to do. And look at this. Now we have the border around this, uh, this, uh, you know, this template I created. And let's cancel out of here just so that we can see uh, what's going on. Again, let me uh, click on my homepage uh, gear icon. So I'm, you know, the user right now trying to create that page, add a page. And if I don't do anything here, just hit create a page. A look at this. It pretty much uh, creates, um, you know, it, it pretty much uh, creates uh, a page from my template. It has all the sections and everything uh, already configured. And all I have to do as a user, just, you know, populate the information into the respective area, give it a name, hit publish. And essentially now uh, the page, um, you know, has been published. Uh, so essentially, these are the two steps you need to follow. Again, step number one, you just need to uh, create a page template, uh, and then uh, yes, you know, obviously, um, you know, save the page as a template, uh, and it will put that template into that yellow folder. That was step number one. Step number two, uh, you just need to make sure you know, click those uh, three dots, just like I showed you, and uh, uh, set your uh, new uh, set your template as a default, and then from that point on. Anytime users click uh, gear icon at a page, uh, or if they go here and say new, you know, page again, doesn't really matter which way they go, or which way they choose. They um, by default it will just, you know, when they hit the create button, it will just a default to the template that you have created for them. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned a new trick today. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.